Uh, yes, hi, I'm Emmanuel Gillespie. I'm a uh, painter, but also a sculptor. Ooh, uh, let's just say over 25 years, perhaps longer. <laughs> um, it's the only thing that I've ever done since I was a kid. So I knew there was nothing else in life that I would want to do but to paint or to create art, you know. Uh, definitely. Um, well, it's 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 kind of strange. I think the my new work, which is um, Joy, is started maybe in the 90s, and then it went into what you see here. But there's an in between that happening. But I think I'm going back to uh, a merge of all the styles together. I I enjoyed draw. I saw all I did every day and all day. It's, it's this draw. So yeah. So once I was able to get into art school. In high school, uh, went to a performing arts school that from ninth to twelfth grade, and then later on, of course, I got my master's. But it's it's everything that I ever wanted to do was always art. Yes, I'm out of Dallas, Dallas, Texas. That was how I was born as well. Yes, yeah. I like to say that I'm one of the last Dallas people in Dallas. <laughs> Uh, well, well, then I was just pencil and paper. Yeah, so that's that's, that's all, you know, just work with pencil and paper. <laughs> well, uh, I, I did study in college, but my foundation before college, I think I went to uh, Booker T. Washington High School, which was probably one of the first art high schools in the States. And so I did my first four years there. And then later on, I went to University of North Texas. And then later on, I went to Pennsylvania. Uh, for my uh, master's. Um, I think all my work is kind of about me understanding who I am and trying to figure out, tell my story and in return telling everyone else's story. I think the content is always going to be about my connection to myself and to who I am. Yeah, so, um, well, I guess the one we are directly behind um, I know this is kind of dealing with, it's kind of migration, but also it's dealing with Harlem. So this came from a series where I did about, I don't know, 40 pieces or so. Uh, just dealing with that whole migration from the uh, early 1900s to 1970, from the South to the North, and just showing uh, black people and their strength and their light. So it was a little bit different um, portraying, of course, the physical aspect of it. But I want to show us in our best light as we went through that process. And then so some of these kind of going in and out between Harlem and then, of course, right next to it is what I call, like to call uh, my temporary freedom series. Those moments of temporary, uh, well, freedom or what it be anxious thoughts or whatever or not. Yeah. And then my latest work is, uh, uh, I like to say joy. And I use a lot of blues to create those moments of joy. Uh, dealing with that whole aspect of water and how important water is and keeping memories. Um, so I try to do a little bit more these days. I'm doing a lot more fairs these days. So uh, maybe uh, got my hands on a couple of major fairs uh, this year. So yeah, but not too much because I still got to create. So yes. Um, well, uh, here recently, I'm, pr I'm probably going to go a lot bigger and smaller because I, I know uh, there's collectors of all sizes. And that's one of the things that I like to do is create smaller works, but just trying to create a, a larger body of work uh, imagery wise. Um, someone who hopefully is collecting and capturing our history so that we won't uh, forget so we can have that connection, so we can see it in our households. And so it's, it's something that's passed down. The program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association.